this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So today we're off to Hermanus Bay, which is about an hour and a half drive from Cape Town to visit an abalone farm called Heart of Abalone. So this is a place that was started in 1984 by a veterinarian named Dr. Pierre Hugo uh, as he wanted to breed abalone on tanks. Uh, actually in tanks on land so um, it's it's really an experiment back then because a lot of the abalone back then was wild caught from the sea uh, but he actually wanted to try something new so today his two adult sons run the place and uh, we are I'm excited because we have signed up for a tour explaining how they breed abalone on land so they actually offer this tour with a sampling of their abalone as well so i'm really interested in learning how they breed abalone on land while i think my mom is more interested in buying their canned abalone uh, at their retail store so pronounced as abalone or abalone uh, depending on where you are uh, abalone is a delicacy from the sea uh, that belongs to the sea snail family. So it's a type of snail that is most appreciated by the Japanese and Chinese consumer. So if someone in a, uh, if you are in Japan or, or China or anywhere with those communities in it and they serve you a dish with abalone in it, that means they either really treasure your visit or they just really want to impress you. So when it comes to the texture, there is a chewiness to abalone like when you bite into a calamari steak. So that's the same kind of, of chewiness. Um, it's a, a bit rubbery, but it's not overly rubbery, but, but it's definitely chewy. And the flavor, it's naturally buttery with a, a, an attached salty. So outside of South Africa, you can actually find wild abalone in places like in the water of Australia, America, and Japan as well, where the most expensive abalone uh, can be found currently. You know, the, the wild caught abalone, uh, it's really expensive because that, that is how they used to procure abalone. But nowadays, because of the high demand in uh, places like China, due to the growing affluence of the Chinese, uh, you know, just, just simply just catching abalone from the sea, uh, it's not enough, which is why we have a lot of places, uh, you know, a lot of abalone farms uh, breeding their own abalone in tanks on land. So I'm going to start with the this abalone or abalone and then with a little caviar, a sliced abalone and a little caviar on top. You say it's caviar, right? Seaweed caviar. Oh, it's seaweed caviar because um, it accentuates the uh, flavor of the abalone perfectly. Hmm? Ting ting. Hmm. Very sweet. So this is the abalone ceviche. Um, so it's, it's interesting because I've never had ceviche. I've, made, I've had ceviche made with shrimp, uh, with uh, calamari, but never with abalone. So perhaps this is a new trend to start in New York. I think when you make it with ceviche, it has to be a little more chewy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the flavor is great. This, like, no. you help him out. You're one of the two boys with a little pail. Yeah, we, we just uh, we helped them carry the water because after school, they, they need to because uh, we didn't have pumping water, so right, we right, right. continuously put new water in. Right, right, right. And uh, and this, this is like a, just a home experiment, you know. No, see it's what good. they eat. So we like feed them a bit of apple, a really? bit of potato, <laughs> and, oh, then, uh, and then whatever is still there the next day, we're like, okay, they don't eat that, <laughs> or they die, and we're like, ooh, okay, not that. <laughs> so again. that is. 